now that everyone's had a few days for the dust to settle, I want to take some stock on where we are in Cleveland. This was supposed to be a summer of tweaking, right? We're finding one of the NBA's most elite rosters to better compete with the Golden State Warriors. Instead, well, the summer looks something like this. Yeah, not so good. <laughs> you can trace some of the unraveling right back to this team's front office decisions. Newsflash, for three years, GM David Griffin managed and massaged the relationship between Kyrie Irving and LeBron James. Well, then Griffin was let go. And as the organization scrambled to pull off, I don't know, a Jimmy Butler trade or a Paul George deal without Griffin, sometimes, by the way, including Kyrie mm -hmm. in trade talks, no one in the Cavs front office made Kyrie feel comfortable with what was going on. So many teams around the league have delicate situations like this simmering in one way or another. Most have management working very hard to not let them come to a full boil. In Cleveland, well, that didn't happen. And suddenly you have a trade demand. Leaks that make it harder for that demand to get walked back. And sad IG posts like this one <laughs> from LeBron James. Gee, I, I don't know. Do you wonder if the, the lyrics he's singing cute. mean anything? The emoji is cute, but the, the game left me with a heavy heart. <laughs> Said they was with okay. you when they really weren't? I mean, come on. As for Kyrie, well, we don't really know what's in the head of a guy who, when asked about playing with LeBron just a month ago, told a room full of reporters it was more important for him to try to win another title than have his own team. And I mean, look, Kyrie is the one who FaceTimed with Kobe Bryant in the locker room after winning the title in 2016. We have some window into his influences. But still, he's not at all dumb. He is aware that true A-level players like, I don't know, Chris Paul, have spent their whole careers killing themselves to never even right. get out of the second round. So he knows this is a dangerous gamble he's taking, and he's doing it in an era when the rest of the league is going the opposite way. Superstars burying their egos to team up instead of going it alone. Kyrie's also doing this without an experienced hand at the helm to manage this trade. And this is where we circle back to where we started, the Cavs front office. Can newly elevated Cavs GM Kobe Altman get the real superstar value he needs for Kyrie? Might this be a blessing in disguise for Cleveland, a chance to reshape the roster in a way that specifically makes them a tougher matchup for the Warriors? Or, hey, since Kyrie idolizes Kobe, <laughs> did the Cavs decide to just stand pat, send their young star some of this old video of the Mamba attending Lakers training camp? Mm -hmm. This would be in 2007, by the way, after the late Jerry Buss declined his trade demands. That's when he could still jump. <laughs> well, <laughs> but when they said, you know what, we're going to keep you anyway. The direction the Cavs pick here is going to have a seismic impact on this franchise for years to come, on the balance of power for the whole league. And for a team whose front office has spent this summer making lemons out of lemonade, that's quite the proposition. We'll have to see if they have the ingenuity to reset the table. Mm. So Ramona, if you were the one in that seat, what would you do if you were the Cavaliers? I would study every single offer. I would take my time. You know, Kyrie may want out, but you don't have to trade him until you get the absolute best value. And that may not come until December or January when guys who signed this past summer can be traded because this is your one chance to reset the franchise. And LeBron James has no trade clause. He cannot be moved, and he does not want to be moved. Chris Haynes just reported that he will not waive his no trade clause for anyone this year. So if you have a gamble now, LeBron James could leave this summer, right? Or he could leave next summer or the summer after that or whatever it is. That's the way LeBron has set things up. If you have that situation, you've got to get something great for Kyrie Irving. You've got to get what Denver got for Carmelo Anthony when they moved him to New York. You've got to get that kind of a deal. But different and, even from that because you don't want future draft picks. The whole point is to try to keep yeah. LeBron around, right? Yeah. So you, you still need and, to compete. And you now. want a combination of the two. Yeah. You know what? They should have interview, interviewed you for the job because you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're in no rush to trade him because he's under contract for two more years. Right. And even though he gave you a list of teams, I can trade you to wherever I want to trade you to. Phoenix has a lot of right. assets, the Boston Celtics. I would have to think 20 to 25 teams would be interested in Kyrie. So I'm not like rushing into anything yeah, right Anyone now. who doesn't call the Cavs right now to at least get in on this, whether they want Kyrie or they want to be part of this trade, is not doing their job. Yeah. Every team in the NBA should be a part of this. Well, it's such an interesting thing, though, because the, the old saw in the NBA, right, is that you trade for a dollar and you get four yep. quarters back, right? Mm -hmm. You're not really going to get a superstar for superstar trade. But the Cavs need a superstar for superstar trade, yep. right? You need to be able to not only get to the finals in the conference, the yes is weaker all the way around, but Boston's definitely yep. still there. It only takes one to knock you off. And then you need to compete with the Warriors if you mm -hmm. want to keep LeBron James. And we just scrolled through the videos of Kyrie and all those jerseys, one of the teams on his wish was <clears throat> Frank the New York Knicks. Um, you know, 
you're not making a deal with the Knicks, right? Unless they're going to give you Chris Stapp's exactly. Porzingis, exactly. right? Because and that's you a, need someone big back. You 100%. can't just take those four quarters. And, and Carmelo Anthony, yes, we know about his relationship with LeBron James, but Carmelo isn't the same player anymore. And Carmelo, by the way, can opt out next summer as well. Right. So if I'm Cleveland, yeah, I'll talk to the Knicks. Will you talk to me about Chris Stapp Porzingis, which I doubt they will. That's why Boston could make some sense. They do have a point guard there that's pretty talented, finished in the top five in MVP. They have draft picks. They still have that net draft pick dangling out there. So I think, there are, I think there's a way to get players and picks, and that's what I'm doing for Kyrie Irving because I still think, I know I have LeBron under contract for one more year. I'm convinced no matter what deal I'm doing, I'm still going back to the Well, playoffs. look, I think there's two teams that make a lot of sense right off the bat, which is Phoenix and yep. Minnesota. Phoenix obviously has a lot of draft picks. They have good young players they drafted in the top five. Josh Jackson, they had conversations about that number four pick. I know everybody in Phoenix likes him, but guess you'll, you'll like Kyrie a lot. Yeah, right? At some point, this is what you, <laughs> this this is is what what you waited for. for. Minnesota's another team that's interesting, and that's why George Hill comes up. because they, I mean, Josh, Sorry, Jeff T comes up. They just signed him. And... I think Kyrie makes a lot of sense there, too, but he cannot be moved, obviously, until December or December January. December 15th, right. yeah. Which is the sticky part because, yes, everyone's talking about Wiggins mm -hmm. in a Minnesota deal, but you need Wiggins plus something, exactly. right? I mean, mm -hmm. again, you were talking about Kyrie Irving. This is the franchise's most valuable yeah. young asset. It's not really a matter of where Kyrie wants to go. It's mm -hmm. where you can get something back for him.